when this ship goes flyable. Yeah, definitely. I know there's a lot of people uh, hoping there is. to get that done so yeah. they can get onto the Banu Merchantman and uh, the Defender is the first stage of that. Now, you might be forgiven for not knowing what the Banu Merchantman is. Well, I can tell you what I know. Around 2013, there was a concept sale for the Banu Merchantman. The forums and the brochures spoke of the Banu Merchantman leveling mountains and laying waste to entire regions. And then, all of a sudden, whoosh, it was gone, lost to history. Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and this is Ship Updates. And yeah, we do have a few updates this week. Or, well, we have two updates and a mention. First off, of course, was the 890 Jump. Now, you remember the 890 Jump supposedly went into production back in March of 2017. Well, it looks like some work had been done. But then the ship was unexpectedly shelved while CIG worked on different things. Well, now they're back into it and the 890 jump is on its way. Now, next up, we got a look at the interior of the touring version of the 600i. Now, if you currently own a 600i, you may be familiar with the scanning area and the scanning stations, which are part of the exploration version, which is what we currently have. Well, this is the touring version, which replaces the scanning area with a place to sit and look at the walls. Now we did get what appear to be some shots of a considerably changed interior of the Banu Defender. Now this may represent a considerable change in the overall geometry of the ship. Now of course these could simply be seats that float out into these pods off to either side and may not reflect any change at all though of course there are some members in the community who would probably support a considerable change to the ship's geometry those members of course being the ones who have eyes now as a part of what we found out of the banu defender we also found out that the banu defender of course is the precursor to developing the banu merchantman for those of you that actually remember this ship <laughs> now it's it's kind of interesting and kind of funny in a not very funny way that um you know a, a ship that has been around since 2013 is seemingly almost possibly once again on the cusp of going into production which means that you know given a fair amount of time to get the banu defender completed let's say up until you know say december of this year and then allowing at least another year for production of the banu defender oddly enough strange coincidence that's roughly about the same amount of time it would take you to earn a phd in archaeology Un, you know unless of course it gets bumped again now apart from that the only real substantial update was a small change to the cutlass black cockpit moving the bar down behind the panels I'm going to wait until 3.2.1 is out, then I'm going to go take a look and check that out and see if it's worthy of talking about. But apart from that, that's all the show we have for you this week. Short and Savage. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. So, so, so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us, please follow us, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.